So this is Christmas And what have you done? Hey everyone! Oh yeah, so I hope everyone is having an amazing holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and whatever else you may be celebrating. And if you don't want any of those, there is always Festivus for the rest of us. Um, I, it is Christmas Day, and um, as you can see, we're getting ready to have presents and there's going to be my heart attack casserole, which is, I only make it once a year because I, I cannot be responsible for the, you know, the cholesterol count that this thing has. It has potato chips and a, you know, and a stick of butter and it is amazing and it's good. And if you, if you contact me, I will send you the recipe because this is, it is amazing. Um, I got my own actual most amazing Christmas gift ever that I'd love to share with you real quick. Um, and that is I, I found out that, um, seven, um, seven libraries have added my book, um, to their shelves. Um, I don't have a lot of details yet because they're still kind of pending. Um, but they were bought through library distribution channels and a couple directly. I do know that Wichita, um, the Wichita Public Library in Kansas does have it. Um, so I am, it's, the feeling I have right now is indescribable. Um, it is the happiest, most amazing, wonderful thing. Um, and uh, being in a library I, I, is, I love that individuals such as yourself have, have bought my book and, and that fills me with joy, but to be in a library, um, for a writer, you know, I think that is, um, that's something pretty special. Uh, so yeah, go Christmas, go Christmas, go Christmas. And all right. So <laughs> I hope that you guys are having a, a wonderful, um, Christmas. I did promise you guys a Christmas story. So here is my really quick Christmas story. A few years ago, um, probably maybe four, five years ago, and this is when I was still married, and I had two stepsons and my five children all living at home, and we had a couple extra um, living with us as well, so we had a house full, and I bought probably what was the greatest Christmas present ever for everybody, and that was marshmallow guns, um, <laughs> and so, and they were, I mean, they were really cool, and so they were made out of P PBS or PVC pipe, and they were painted, and I bought them from this um, individual who sells them, and everyone got this marshmallow gun. And so, yeah, so we have marshmallow guns, and we have nine, no, 12, I think 12 people with marshmallow guns in my house, because I bought one for everyone, not just kids, but I mean everyone, everyone, 12 people have marshmallow guns. What could possibly go wrong, right? Um, so my, they all set my house up and it was in this room, actually. Uh, they set up, they broke a couch in here and they had, because we had two couches at the time and there was one in here and one in here and they used them as barriers and they, they had a, they had this huge marshmallow war and marshmallows were flying everywhere and everyone was having a great time. And, and I was watching and taping all of this and, um, you know, as a good person, mommy should, um, and I'm drinking my coffee and I, I just happened to look up and I'm like, okay, guys, be careful. You, you might shoot your eye out. And just as I said, shoot your eye out. My stepson, um, shot me in the eye, literally with a marshmallow and, and not even closed eye, open eye right here, smack right in the eye. <laughs> it was the most, oh my God, I have never felt anything like it. I don't know. If you have ever experienced the joy of sugar on your open eye, <laughs> okay, and no amount of tears and watering would help this because, as you all know, when sugar gets wet, it gets sticky, and I hate sticky things. Anyone who knows me knows that I hate sticky things. That's a, a trait I got from my great-grandfather. I talk about it in my book. Um, to this day, I still cannot stand having anything sticky on my hands or anywhere. And so here I am with my eyeball full of sugar, marshmallow sugar. Okay, can you just picture this? I have sugar in my eye 
<laughs> just sitting there. I didn't even drop my coffee though. And all my kids come running up. Oh my god, oh my god, mom, are you okay? I'm like, you shot my eye out. And the best part was, okay, because I'm this huge, huge fan of a Christmas story. It's it is my favorite movie. It plays 24 hours a day at my in my house from 7 p.m. to 7 p.m. the next on Christmas Day. From Christmas Eve to Christmas Day. It's the only thing that plays in my house is a Christmas story. 24 straight hours. It's on every on every TV in every room, a Christmas story. It doesn't matter where you go in my house, it's a Christmas story. I love the show. Okay, so anyway, so just as I'm sitting there going, you'll shoot my or you shot my eye out, I hear echoing on the TV. You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> so yeah. So there I sit. And um the, the marshmallow war did continue. Uh, we did actually replace the marshmallows because we found out that, yes, they can be actually fairly painful um, with uh, bits of the wrapping paper, um, you know, the, 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 the crinkly white tissue paper that you put in, like, the gifts and stuff. The kids found out that if you take them out and wad them up, they make, like, a spitball, essentially, without the spit. And so they continued their war with that, but <laughs> it was probably, honest to God, one of the best... Christmas presents I've, I've ever gotten for my kids. Um, for that one, I mean, they, they played with them for a long time afterwards, don't get me wrong, but for that one day on Christmas Day, it was magical. Um, everyone in the house was having so much fun, and we were running around, and, and they were playing, and, and they took sides because, you know, there was a war, and um, so, yeah, but that's my Christmas story of how a I got my eye shot out <laughs> or you shot, you know, you shoot your eye out. And, um, so anyway, I hope everyone has a magical Christmas and that, you know, you have family and friends and loved ones surrounding you and that they're, you know, that it is everything that you hoped it will be. Um, Christmas really as much as you can see all the presents behind me. But again, I have five children and a grandchild. And I've got six other people living in my house. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of stuff under the tree. Um, because everyone gets a Christmas gift in my house. Everyone. Um, whether they're family or not. Um, anyone that lives here gets a gift. That's how it works here. Um, and uh, one year, because I had a guy that lived here named Andy that hated not knowing what his Christmas gift was. And he ended up opening his Christmas present for me early and so I went out and <laughs> I bought a package of 99 cents straws you know just straws and wrapped them all up and then covered them all in, in a whole bunch of tissue and, and oh my god I, I use like almost an entire thing of tape you're not getting into this and I threw it down on there like ha you have another gift and I'm not telling you what it is <laughs> so for like four days he was going nuts. Didn't know what it was. Didn't know what it was. I knew. It was a 99 cent pack of straws. And he's like, oh my God, what is it? What is it? What is it? And um, so Christmas morning comes. And I'm like, all right, everyone can open your presents. And he did. Rah! And he's like, straws? Straws? For the last five days, I've been going nuts over straws. <laughs> 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 Spitwads, you're gonna get it in the next six months. Um, side note about two weeks later, or something he comes two weeks later, or something he comes up to me and says, Oh my god, that's like the greatest gift you've ever gotten. He says, I had no idea how useful straws were. Um, so he, I mean, all his drinks and everyone that came over, they had straws, and, and it was funny anyway. So he's like, One of the best gifts, this package of 99 cent straws. So just remember that people, um, it doesn't have to be a whole lot of money, um, to make it a, an amazing Christmas gift because that was. He told me it was one of the most amazing Christmas gifts he ever got. It was a 99 cent pack of straws. <laughs> so, you know, um, so love your family and your friends and everyone that is in your life. And I hope that you have a very joyous holiday season, however you celebrate it with whoever you celebrate it with. Um, it is a magical time of year and, um, and it's good for, you know, and if you know somebody that, um, maybe alone for Christmas or doesn't have family 
invite them into yours. Um, so, because it's it's a terrible time to, to be alone. Um, so if you know of someone that has lost a loved one, or a husband, a wife, whatever, you know, when it's alone, um, please, let me encourage you to, to invite them into your Christmas, and um, it may be one of the best gifts you'll ever give to yourself. So, anyway, I hope wonderful, wonderful things for all of my viewers, and um, a fabulous new year. Um, since this episode is on Christmas morning, yay! Obviously, our next episode will be on Christmas Day, so I might be looking a little more haggard than usual. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, Corey's band is playing um, uh, for New Year's Eve, as they often do. Um, I used to have big parties here, but now I do with, you know, have Corey's now um, with the band. So anyway, uh, Christmas, New Year's Day might be a little rough. <laughs> so we'll, I guess we'll have to see. Anyway, um, thank you to all my viewers, to all my readers, to everyone that, um, you know, I, I interact with and have gotten to know because of my book. You have all been amazing in this journey that I have been on is just, it, it is beyond description. It's beyond words. It's, it's insanity and, and amazement and, and wonder and chaos and crushing disappointment at times. And, um, it is a roller coaster I would not trade for anything. So I'm in libraries now. I I I feel like I am an official <laughs> writer now. Um, and thank you to all of you who helped make that possible without your reviews, without you purchasing my book, without your support um, and encouragement. I couldn't have done it. Um, I may have written the book, but from there, it's been you guys, and um, I, I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. You, you have been amazing and wonderful, and um, thank you. So, you know, a new year is getting ready to start, and a new book is coming out, and um, and I can't wait. So, you guys have a really good holiday season. So this is Christmas And what have you